channel for tech crews this next video i will be taking you through buying a car using auto trader just to let you know auto trader is not paying me to do this only reason i'm doing this is because i've used auto trader before and it's a very good platform if you're looking for sincere car sellers or retailers or private sellers and I've never had a problem with them every time I've bought a vehicle even cheap vehicles I've always been met with complete transparency and honesty compared to other platforms like Facebook marketplace where you get a lot of scammers I'm not saying Facebook marketplace you cannot find good deals from but personally I find better deals better honest deals on auto trader and it just gives you a bit more of a broader platform to search up more vehicles if you're looking for finance options if you're looking for specific vehicles if you're looking for camper vans caravans motorbikes vans farming equipment plants whatnot trucks you can find all of that on auto trader all right guys i'll quickly uh, take you through the platform itself it's not a massive platform where you get lost pretty much but i'll just walk you through it and some of the cool things you can do on there all right guys peace first off obviously you just type in auto trader i'm in the uk so autotrader.co.uk if you pop your postcode by the way that's not my postcode just in case you're trying to find me not my postcode smart so guys pop your postcode in there right then you search up what vehicle you're looking for let's look for ooh I would like to find this time a Mercedes so let's say for example if we're looking for a Mercedes let's look for a Uh, not the EQE, not the EQE, EQS, those electric nonsense. All right, let's let's look for a CLS. I like the CLSs. If we click search, it's just going to bring you through a variety of different CLSs you can find. All right, so you can pick a price tag. If you come down here where it says cash and finance, if you're a cash buyer, click cash you a finance buyer click finance for now let's say cash if we say cash let's say maximum three thousand pounds all right it will give you all the vehicles available for under three thousand pounds and from there you can start your search let's look at the first one first of all I normally like to start off just with the pictures just looking through the pictures looking at the general condition of the exterior and the general condition of the interior as well so i just scroll through having a good look around if you can spot anything of the obvious so if the panel gaps on one side was too bigger than the other side or if you see the mismatch then you can kind of gauge like wait a minute something's off there hold up wait a minute something's not quite right but yeah you just look through it it's looking clean for its year if you wanted this mercedes go to hc happier cars i haven't got a clue who they are i'm not advertising them or any of that i'm just saying if you want to see this specific one go there so hc happier cars if you ever see my video and you see this pop up Yo, if you got any cars for me to review, please call me up. Drop, call me up. Comment below. Send me through an email. Call me up. I wouldn't mind. So we move on. The alloys is now. Nah, I think that's just messy. That's just messy. It needs a good clean. They could have at least cleaned it before taking pictures. Needs a good clean. 
the leather seats the leathers on these vehicles are actually quite nice you know because they actually these vehicles are four seats so two seats in front two seats behind 159,779 miles on the clock so with this one yeah it's still good right because this is a three liter v6 diesel quite torquey engines comes all with a with your phone connectivities you can connect you've got um electric seat adjusters memory seats on there as well that looks nice i like the wood framing on there automatic headlights and all the gizmos you can actually change this if you do not want it you can actually change this to an android head unit oh these buttons here is to fold down the rear headrest push that boop folds down it's got sat now for now is that Harmon? That's the rear occupancy seat. So you can see, as I mentioned, it's got two seats behind. So if it's just you, your old lady, and two babies, chilling. You don't need more people in your damn car. Good enough boot space. CLS 320 click and deliver oh they deliver as well very nice click and collect well you can collect it ah free breakdown cover on all cars well terms and condition obviously will apply ah free history check six months mot to oh free 12 months breakdown cover there you go not bad not bad happier cars yeah so once you're done with that bit really you can come down now to the description of the vehicle on here just gives you a general overview the registration so the year was registered the mileage fuel type the body type engine gearbox how many doors how many seats the emission class as well and on here where it says description click on there and you can just read through the description of the vehicle I'm not gonna go into details cause I'm not buying that I ain't got that kind of money and what you can do is using the registration you can go into the government's website right so let's go MOT free check in here check the MOT history of a vehicle so if you type in MOT history check first one that pops up if we go start this is where you enter the registration let's see ES57 LTS ah let's go back where was my brain my brain LTS Ooh, this vehicle's MOT is expired well when you buy it or you want to buy it then they will put an MOT on it according to what is set on that advert yeah that's actually handy because you can go where mini but it hasn't got that then you can go here parking brake efficiency less than 50% of the required value well that's a dangerous defect and then repair immediately major engine management light inoperative for indicator malfunction All right so these two are majors they have to be done All right this one it's all right it would be nice for them to do it as well because um, it would just show a cleaner history All right then this is um, the MOT date tested in February 2021 you can see on there as well what the advisories were so if we compare that 
So we've got front brake imbalance. Thing was then repaired or not flagged up. Playing steering rack inner joints. Near side from yeah, near side, yeah, this one still shows up. Then near side from suspension arm ball joint. Yeah, you can go through, check out what it's been failing on, and check out if it's been repaired or they've just been putting it off. But if you wanted this vehicle, it has to be put through MOT. If they don't want to put it through MOT, then stay the hell away from it. Unless you want to fork out the bill to repair all that, stay the hell from it. You've been warned. Pom -pom. Yeah, guys. So there we go. If we go back in here, you can literally search up any kind of vehicle you want. All right. So you can even go into finance options. So we click finance. You can click up the maximum amount you can pay monthly, you can afford. Right, and it will bring you through a list of vehicles under finance options. And if you see one you really like, you can afford the finance on it. You give them a call. You go through the credit check process, go through all of your process, pay your deposit. Bada bing, bada boom, you got you a car. Yeah, and one thing as well I like about Auto Trader is they do this. So if we come down here, you can look at insurance. So you can get a quick quote on that vehicle. You can check out the running cost of that vehicle. The insurance group is 45A and £365 yearly. Wow. Urban uh, fuel consumption, 26.6 .6 miles put to the gallon. Then you've got um extra urban so for seven point nine and combined is thirty seven. That's actually alright. Well it's a diesel, it should be alright. If it wasn't alright, then okay. We should be asking questions. Then we've got specs in here. You can go in and check out dryer safety specs, exterior, interior, performance, dimensions and whatnot. Can contact the seller there. This seller is 122 miles away from me. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. You've got um, on some vehicles as well. They carry out checks for you. So you can come in here. Get peace of mind before you buy this vehicle. If you say get a check. Let's just click that for now. So get check. I don't want to log in, so I'll go back. But you can go in, get a check on that vehicle, which it tells you if the vehicle has been an insurance write-off, if it's been stolen and whatnot. It just gives you um, that overview as well for peace of mind. All right, guys, that's Auto Trader for you. Like I said, if you want to buy your vehicle, remember a couple of things. How big should your vehicle be? Do you need a big family vehicle? If you want an SUV or a crossover, if you want to be high, higher up on the road, if you're a single dude and you just want you a two-seater, yeah, you can buy a two-seater. I say there's no point buying a massive engine vehicle because in all honesty, if you're just doing little runs here and there, you're just wasting your money on filling that vehicle up pretty much. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of diesel vehicles. I'm more so of a petrol head. I wouldn't buy diesel vehicles. So if you want to buy a vehicle, think hard and long about it. Do I want a vehicle I could just use for A to B? Do I want a vehicle I use for long commute journeys, a family vehicle? Do you need a vehicle that can tow a trailer or can tow a caravan or whatever you want to tow on it? Do you need a vehicle that will be good for certain parts of the country where it's more susceptible to flooding? So you need to think about these things. And then you think about 
how much am I willing to spend on a vehicle? Uh, we live in a society where it's spend, spend, spend. Try and think, how much do I really want to spend on a vehicle? Because vehicles are liabilities and not assets. It don't matter if you buy a Rolls Royce Phantom today, it wouldn't generate you money. It will actually depreciate in value. Although it wouldn't depreciate as most vehicles or some other vehicles, but you will still lose money on it. So you have to think about these things and take them into consideration as well. All right, people, if you have any suggestions, drop it in the comment, like this video, share this video, comment, let's get going. I'm trying to create a community here, so don't be shy, jump in there. All right, guys, take care and peace. You made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. That's how we get the numbers up and that's how you help us reach more people out there and that's how you help us create more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video so we can reach more people. Thank you again and peace.